have made the whole world see that if a woman can stand up and say that now I want to fight for the animals, I want to speak for the animals, a different is going to happen. Are working without weapons. Anytime the poachers can shoot us and kill us. Anytime the lions, the, elef the elephants can kill us. But we still continue fighting for the animals because it's our heritage. 2011, 2012 was when the, the poaching crisis really started. That's when we came up with the idea of the Black Mumbers. After they were deployed, we enjoyed 11 months of not a single rhino lost. Whereas in the 12 months before that, Baluli lost 21. We put our boots in the ground. We patrol the fence line of the Baluli boundaries every day. So to make sure that those who are in the fence line, if they can pick up any tracks or anything that is suspicious that shows that the poachers were inside or the poachers are still inside the reserve. This is also what we're looking for when we patrol because they, they want to go then to the other side. I've come across the poachers several times where I've seen it that I was supposed to have died there. But uh, God protected me and through the, uh, all the trainings that we're getting, we survive. All the challenges that we come across in the bush, when we're sitting down there, us as the black mamas talking about it. It's, it's a stories that we're going to tell to our grandchildren that in my age I once did this. I once went to that place. Rhino horn, and they've even done tests on it since, um, since the rhino poaching uh, crisis started and there is absolutely no medicinal purposes to the rhino horn. It is, it's made out of keratine, which is the same as your fingernails. But one of the biggest issues is, is now that in places like Vietnam, rhino horns become a status symbol. I can say the black members are the best ladies that I have, I have ever met. We support each other. We don't let anybody cry while I'm just sitting and watching her. I go and support her and find out what's happening to you. Some of the black members um, are breadwinners at home. So we are grooming each other how to, how to take care of our siblings, how to, to, how to take care of our salaries, and where can we change with our So There are so many different things that we, we are teaching each other every day. I think as a ladies working together, we're sisters. You can have a power to wake up in the morning and say, I am a black mamba. And then that encouragement will give you more power to do what you're supposed to do. We have cars that are always breaking down. We need uh, diesel to make sure that the cars are running up and down so that everything is okay. Most of our cell phone needs data and a time to communicate with the others. There are so many things that we need. We yeah. need toiletries, like those kinds of stuff. You show them wild dogs? I'm not showing you pictures from the internet. These are pictures that the kids saw at the game drives this year. In conjunction to the Black Mamba program in 2015, we started the, the Bush Babies program. She's reaching on average about a thousand children a year. We want the message getting out to the community that the animals, they belong here, they deserve to be here. It's, you know, it's their home, their territory that we're inviting ourselves into. It is very much amazing to go to schools and find kids waiting for you, to see you in your camouflage uniform and they get happy. You will hear them shouting, Black Mamas, Black Mamas, as long as they see this uniform. And they're very much happy. And all of, when you go to this class, those who are in the next class, they will be wait, standing in the windows, want to see what you're doing that side and ready to listen to what you're going to teach them today and ready to write on papers. We also ask them sometimes to, to write, what can you say to a poacher? You know, the message that they are writing, you can cry when you read them. Mm -hmm. You can cry because they write a strong way, to wonderful way that can change somebody's mind. We protect nature and they can be the, they, they can be the black mamas when they grow up.